Hi, this is Greg Shields, and I'm going to show you how you can use the ORCA tool to help you identify what properties you may want to add in to an MSI file so that you can launch it and run it silently. So you've probably got some different applications out there that you want to be able to install, and you're tired of installing them via Next, Next, Finish. Yeah, I would be too. That involves a lot of walking around and having to click through different dialog boxes to install a piece of software. Automating that piece of software, if it's an MSI file, requires a relatively universal switch structure. You can see I've brought it up here on the screen. That switch structure is msiexec.exe and slash q, and then I want to uh, set up a log file here, slash l star, and identify what that log file path will be. I use the slash i command to identify what my setup value would be for the MSI, where that path is to the MSI, and then lastly, some properties, this name value pair you see here at the back. Now, if I want to install, for example, the Flash Player version 10, I might do all of this and install, well, install Flash Player 10 ActiveX.MSI. However, you'll notice here at the back, I've got this name value pair, this property called reboot yes no equals no. Well, where did I get that? How did I identify that the words reboot yes no are actually part of the Flash Player installation and that, well, the answer that I want is indeed no? By figuring out what these are is required for a lot of MSI files because while the switch structure is the same across MS, every, every MSI file, uh, these characteristics, these properties here at the back, are unique to each installation. Right? The, the installation for, I don't know, for Flash Player is going to be different than the installation for Microsoft Exchange. And so, well, you're going to have to have some different properties that are there that you're going to identify at the command line. Now, the ORCA tool is one that you can download from Microsoft's website. It's kind of difficult to actually locate because the ORCA tool is, in fact, found as part of the Microsoft Windows SDK for Windows 7 and .NET Framework 4. You actually have to download it. You have to install the SDK's debugging tools. There you'll find ORCA and a separate installation in the program files Windows SDK 7.1 bin orca or bin folder. It's, it's, it's fairly deeply buried. And in fact, if you're looking to actually get this installation, I would suggest you take a look at the, uh, the article uh, that I wrote recently that'll help you through that install. Once you've got orca installed, however, and it's kind of the hard part, once you've got orca installed, then what you need to do here is go to File and Open and then identify the MSI that you actually want to take a look at, which in this case is Install Flash Player 10. Orca is designed to be able to edit these MSI files. And so you can really go through in any of these tables and make changes to anything you see here so that you can adjust this MSI file for execution at some point in the future. Now, you probably don't actually want to go about changing the MSI file itself. What you might want to do instead is just take a look at this properties table here. The property table includes all of the properties that you can modify at the command line, just like I did here with install flash player, reboot, yes, no, equals no. You'll notice if I click on properties and I scroll down here to the bottom, well, there's the reboot, yes, no uh, property, and the associated value is set to yes. What I'm doing in this command line is I'm instructing the installation to run, but to set reboot, yes, no to no. Everything else stays the same. So having this nice list of property values here and the associated default values gives you the ability to identify what sorts of characteristics you might want to adjust for your installation, maybe to set your reboot yes, no to no, or a, another property that's out there, so that you can configure this installation that it installs silently, actually gets deployed to all the computers in your network.